but question number two is <clears throat> he says separate into real and imaginary part uh, first iota by one plus iota we have to separate into real and imaginary parts it is very very simple we will write it iota by one plus iota multiply and divide by its conjugate conjugate of denominator it will make numerator product iota minus iota square divided by a plus b a minus b a square minus b square this is iota minus iota square is minus one this will one iota square again is minus one we will mention it iota square equal to minus one and after it it will be iota plus one by two one by two is real part one by two iota is imaginary part this is answer so then we can move to next he says simplify second part simplification of this is minus one by two minus square root three by two iota power three it is very easy we just expand cube formula here if we take minus one common then these both will be positive one by two plus square root three by two iota cube now it is a plus b whole cube this is minus one obviously minus one cube is minus one will stay out here we can take cube of this values inside bracket a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3a b square so we will simplify it all these will be negative now we can see uh, all these will be negative this minus sign can be used inside it will be minus 1 by 8 then we know that what is it plus sign becomes minus sign here it is uh, 1 by 2 square becomes 1 by 4 becomes 3 by 4 3 combines with this square root 3 3 square root 3 by 4 here multiply by 2 8 iota this will also be minus due to this minus sign it is 3 by 2 and this whole square will make it 3 this 4 iota square minus 1 plus square root 3 cube now this can be seen that square root 3 cube is square root 3 square square root 3 this will be cancelled and it will become 3 square root 3 3 square root 3 uh, 2 cube is 8 iota cube is uh, minus iota this is a simple value we must here it must be negative this remember this negative and one thing we can see that this value and this value will get cancelled this is negative this will be positive these two are cancelled and it is minus 1 by 8 and these two will make 9 by 8 plus 9 by 8 after that we take lcm 8 minus 1 plus 9 it is 8 by 8 it is 1 1 can be written as 1 plus 0 iota is answer so cube of this complex number is a complex number converse and inverse of q implies b uh, given we write given that is conditional then I write converse of it then I write inverse of it given is Q implies P its converse is P implies Q its inverse is we apply not on both not Q implies not P proper and improper subsets a set a non-empty set or we must write a set A is said to be subset of set B if all elements of A are elements of 
set B. At least one element of set B is such that it is not the element of set A, then set A is proper subset. if both sets have same elements. Both have same elements. Then both sets are improper subsets of each other. So examples are if we have A 1 2 B 1 2 3 A is proper subset of here A is proper subset of B now we again consider example 1 2 3 1 2 3 both sets are improper subsets of each other. Okay, dear students. Next question. 3 minus 4, 5. This is A and V require its inverse. A inverse is demanded. <clears throat> v require its determinant minus 2 3 minus 4 5 uh, product of 5 minus 2 minus product of 3 minus 4 it will be minus 10 plus 12 will be 2 this is 2 which is non-zero so inverse is possible the other thing we require is adjoint adjoint of a how we find it adjoint we change these two elements position and these two elements sign inverses a inverses 1 by determinant into adjoint of a so easy to use these values this is 2 and this is 5 minus 3 4 minus 2 and inverse is right here it is 5 by 2 this Step is called scalar multiplication as we multiply 1 by 2 inside. 1 by 2 will make it 2 and 1 by 2 will make it minus 1. This is A inverse and is also difference between N2 and R2 function. A function from set A to B denoted by f from a to b is onto if range of the function is equal to b and n2 if range of the function is subset of b so difference is quite clear and onto case range is equal to set b and N2 range is subset of set B. So quite easy to differentiate. So number seven, let this be A. A is A11, one, one, one. this is 2, 1, 2, 2. 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2. Its transpose can be written. What is transpose? This is column, make it row, A11, one, one, A21. One. Second column becomes second row. 1, 2, 2, 2. Right. Both are these we have. So we find their determinants. A determinant is quite simple. We know that A11, one, one, A22 two, two, product of these two minus product of 1, 2, A21. A transpose determinant we evaluate product of these two. 1, 1, 2, 2. Main diagonal elements product minus secondary 
diagonal product of secondary diagonal elements so clearly we can write clearly a determinant is equal to a transpose determinant so rank is number of non zero rows and reduced echelon form of a matrix is called its rank and we have example what that example is uh, write a reduced echelon matrix 1 0 2 we can write 5 then there must be a 0 here then we can write 1 2 3 there must be 0 0 here and all elements can be 0 of this is reduced echelon matrix how is it reduced echelon matrix leading entry must be one of each row leading entry of first row is one leading entry of second row is one leading entries uh, are one in first row in second row in third row there is no leading entry so there is uh, no possibility of it to be one also leading entry is one this first condition first row has no zero before leading entry second row must have one zero before leading entry so it has this is reduced echelon matrix and this reduced echelon matrix we have to just count number of non-zero rows this is zero row at the end it must be at the end it is condition of the reduced echelon matrix so it is at the end number of non-zero rows is two number of non-zero rows rank is equal to rank is equal to number of non-zero rows non-zero rows are this is non-zero row this is non-zero row so rank is two so with example we explained it it is 15 x square plus 2 a x minus a square equal to zero using quadratic formula we have to find Solve it here. We write a 15, b is 2a, c is minus a square. Quadratic formula we use to find its roots minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. a is 15. So we can see that what it is minus 2a plus minus it will be. 4 a square plus 60 a square it means it is 64 2 into 15 will be 30 x is equal to minus 2 a plus minus this will be 64 becomes 8 a square root is 8 divided by 30 so next we can write minus 2 a minus 8 a by 30 or minus 2 a plus 8 a by 30 here it will be minus 10 a by 30 becomes a by 3 minus or this can be uh, 6 a by 30 will be a by 5 so this is a by 5 we must write solution in case of uh, solution of an equation so solution set dear students here is minus a by 3 a by 5 is solution of this quadratic equation mm -hmm. Alpha by beta plus beta by alpha value. We have to find this. And what is given? This is given. 3x square minus 2x plus 4 is equal to 0 has roots, alpha beta roots. So roots of this equation alpha beta and we have to find the value of this expression. It's quite easy. So here a b c we can see a 3 b minus 2 c 4 so if these roots are or we can simply move to the expression alpha by beta plus beta by alpha 
LCM is alpha beta. This is alpha square plus beta square. And then we can write plus 2 alpha beta also minus 2 alpha beta. We add and subtract 2 alpha beta, right? We add and subtract 2 alpha beta. Then these three terms will make whole square alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta. And we can write this in the denominator. Just with instead of fraction, we use this division sign and divided by alpha beta. So now this can be written as minus b by a. You know that alpha plus beta is minus b by h square. Alpha beta is c by a. And what will be here? Alpha beta is c by a. So dear students, now we can use value of abc. What's the value of abc? We can easily see it. b is minus 2 by a. a is 3 it's square minus c is 4 a is 3 uh, divided by c4 a3 now we have to, uh, this will be positive 2 by 3 uh, its square will be 4 by 9 minus this will be 8 by 3 and divided by 4 by 3 or we can write this also multiplication 3 by 4 after it lcm here 9 this will be 12 minus 8 multiplied by 3 by 4 and 12 minus 8 4 by 9 multiplied by 3 by 4 4 cancels 4 this cancels it by 3 so 1 by 3 is answer uh, part number 11 closure property this is set a is 0 minus 0 minus 1 closure property closure property is to be verified with respect to addition multiplication for this we will form this table table of addition table of multiplication this is 0 minus 1 0 addition what should we do it is minus 1 this is minus 1 and it will be minus 2 here <coughs> product Product will 0 is multiplying with both them z, make 0 this is 0 and this will be 1 so and both of them we can see uh, there we can find an answer minus 2 which does not belong to the set and we, here also we can find answer 1 which doesn't belong to the answer all answers must belong to the uh, set then it will be closed so we can see that in both cases uh, there is a value which doesn't belong to. So we write clearly minus 2 does not belong to A. Minus 2 under addition. Therefore, conclusion is that set A is not closed with respect to addition. Not closed, right? So under multiplication also we can find one answer doesn't belong to the set and 0 does not belong also, 1 does not belong to the set A, 1 under multiplication, so the conclusion about multiplication is set A is not closed with respect to multiplication. So, conclude. Roots of this equation p plus x p plus x p plus q times x square minus p x minus q equal to 0 are rational so first thing we find here are the values of abc here abc are a is p plus q b is minus p c is minus q and then we evaluate discriminant Discriminant is b square minus 4ac. What is b? p is minus b. It's square 4a. a is b plus q. c is minus q. So now we hope that it will be a perfect square. When it will be perfect square, then our conclusion will be that roots are rational. So let's simplify this. It will be p square. Uh, these two minus sign will make plus 4pq 
plus 4 q square so it is p square plus 2 a b plus b square it can be written as and then we know that p plus 2 q whole square we write which is perfect square perfect square hence we say roots are rational so this is conclusion